Today we're going to be taking a look at the Eaton FlashGuard MCC, how we can rack in, rack out a bucket safely with their new Rototrack design. All right, so you'll see here, here is our Eaton FlashGuard MCC. We've got a starter, a drive, and a soft start, as well as a network switch and a meter. Today we're going to be taking a look at the drive. Yep, we're going to look at the big drive and show you how easy it is to rack that out. So you'll see now the unit is currently on. One of the great things about this FlashGuard MCC, I actually don't even have to turn power off to remove bucket from the bus safely. So you'll notice off first glance, my drive is on, but then you'll notice I've got a position indicator here where it shows red is connected, green is withdrawn, isolated. And then I've got my shutter indicator right here, which again, red is shutters are open, green are shutters are closed. And then here's our isolator. It's a great tool to use. You can see now that while my device is turned on, I've got a little shutter right there that blocks that. There's also some screw holes, which we'll be going over in just a second. Let's go ahead and we're gonna kill power to this drive. I've now turned this off and you'll see here that my shutter has opened. And so there's two different ways to do this. One way is to take a common power drill with a 3 8 inch chuck adapter on it. So that's gonna look just like this here. So I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put it in reverse and I'm gonna do it. And as you watch these indicators, you'll see they're now green. And you'll notice I kept going even once they've turned green. One of the great things, this device has a built-in slip in it so that you cannot over torque it and strip the gears. So you'll now see I'm green. So with that said, I can go ahead and open up this bucket and then I can pull this out safely. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. So now I've got my drive open. You'll see there it is. So you'll notice there, there's a latch unlatch here. So I need to make sure I take my screwdriver and my fingers, and move that off to the side. And then you'll also notice on Eaton MCC buckets, this, uh, you know, commonly referred to as a cheater screw. You can kind of see it right there. So I need to take that and twist that down. You'll notice now that that is completely gone. Uh, with some of these larger buckets, there's also some screws down here at the bottom. There was one right there and one right there. I've gone ahead and removed those. So now we'll take a look at the MCC. I've still got power on and I'm gonna verify that with this VeriSafe that we showed in another video. So yep, I've still got power on my bus, but you'll see here I am green. I can go ahead and pull this out. So with that said, you know, some of the smaller buckets are easy to do, but with these larger buckets like this, uh, you probably want a two-man operation. This large drive is actually on a rail system. So one other thing we need to do real quick also is we're gonna open up the side wireway here. And so we've got our terminal blocks there if we had them connected to anything on the inside of our drive. So those need to be removed before I remove my drive. And you'll see there's just a quick release right there where I can pull these out like that. Those are now out. If they're wired to anything, you just let them lay in there. So now this is disconnected. So I can actually go ahead and pull it out. You'll notice there's, it's on the slide like I was talking about. So now I can actually safely remove this. And so when I go to rack it back in, again, I can use my drill, but now I'm gonna use another tool that we talked about, which is the Rototract remote racking tool by Eaton. It takes a manual process and makes it automatic with a, a nice long cord so that you can safely be away from the bucket. So I'm gonna manually push this bucket back in then I'm gonna connect this device and show it to you guys. Uh, so you'll notice now I've just got my power. You'll see here it goes in with some uh, nice, easy, large thumb screws that you can use. And then we'll go over to this side. It uses just a standard, you know, 120 volt outlet on the wall, plug in. And then I've got my cord here, which goes to a nice, large kind of crane command with a in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and rack this in. I've got it screwed in all the way. So I'm gonna hit in. You'll notice right away my shutters kind of change. They went from green to black as it's traveling. You'll see now I've got that red, that one's red. You can hear it clicking. So again, that's what we talked about by you can't over torque it. While it's red, you'll see in connected. Now I'm gonna go out with it real quick. So again, I changed the green out. Watch my shutters. So they went from red to black on one side. There goes the other one to green and green. And again, you hear it clicking, so I can't over rack it. So that's it. So that's the Eaton Rototrack remote racking device. Or again, you can use your drill with the socket adapter, whichever one works best for you. But that's, that's how you rack in and out a bucket, all without having to turn power off on the MCC. Thanks. Have a good day.